Good day, friends and family. Let's talk about the Behringer X Air, specifically the RX16. Oh, all these things work the same. Um, it's a fantastic little disc. It goes into the whole digital um, desk family that you can operate from your phone, iPad, or PC. So uh, today I'm going to quickly show you how the computer version works. I haven't used this desk in a while, so I thought maybe it's a good idea to kind of just get myself up to speed again. So fantastic little thing. Um, amazing part of it is this um, XR16 has eight XLR channels and eight um, jack channels, which is amazing. It has four auxiliary outputs. Fantastic. And then, of course, your main outs. Um, it has its own little Wi-Fi router or Wi-Fi wi connecting point. You can also connect um, an Ethernet with an access point on it, which is also fantastic because the moment one of the things you need to understand are these little small disks, this little antenna and internal Wi-Fi system isn't that strong. So one needs to realize the moment you are in a venue with a bunch of people that actually has um, their Wi-Fi on, your device just disappears. <laughs> I promise you it happens time and time again. So just go get yourself a little cheap router, make sure that it has that WAN blue input put point at the back so that you can just plug and play it. Um, and then you can go into uh, the desk and physically hide your um, your Wi-Fi signal or your your router, which then of course makes it much more secure and much more stable, because it doesn't all the different phones don't try to connect to it at all times. So you have all that, that little switch issues if you have a cheap little router. So okay, cool. So that's the external part of it. Uh, let's just quickly go through um, everything you get on it on the side. Um, you can, of course, have a Mac mount, uh, a rack mount for it, which is amazing. And um, it just has uh, a little power, normal kettle plug input um, on the side. Let me just see if I can get a photo of that. Yeah. So it, uh, it just it literally just takes a, a normal, a normal kettle plug instrument cable, whatever you want to call it, over there somewhere at the back. Anyway, just a normal, you know, standard input. Okay, cool. Coming to the app itself so uh, let's just go here when you open the app it'll ask you if you want to take the information from the PC to the desk or from the desk to the PC just be aware if for instance you already have presets that you've loaded on your phone or on an iPad and you want to go over to the computer just realize that you need to choose one of the two options first settings this is where you can do all your connections connect with your devices your computer there it's the sync from mixer to PC or PC to mixer all depends how you utilize the thing I leave it from PC to mix it to PC because I sometimes mix from my iPad. You can also choose which um, units you have over here. Here's your access point settings. This is where you can hide it, your WAN, uh, WLAN, all that jazz. Go for gold. I don't necessarily understand everything here. I just know the necessary things, but this is where you do that. Then um, you start with the channel. Number one, here is your gain. As we know, we have level. And we have gain. Gain opens your preamp, right? Please excuse me if I make some mistakes. I am not necessarily the smartest person in the industry, but I have a basic knowledge. So over here, you can also activate your phantom power per channel. You can switch your polarity. Um, you can link channels from here. Um, here you go with your um, your input, and you've got your USB return, of course, with your bigger disks. Um, there we go. So that's your input system. Now then. Just move quickly down, just click on this thing, it's a normal um, normal EQ, which is quite cool over here. You've got your, uh, your low cut, you can literally just activate it and then choose where you want to cut it off on from. Fantastic. When you want to engage your parametric sweep, you click on the top one and from there on you can... You can um, Manipulate it. Remember, it might take a second or half a second to just get a response. So, if you want to check a frequency, pull it up, give it a second, and then listen to the difference. So sometimes it has a bit of a lag if if you have a long distance between the desk or whatever. There might be a bit of a connection problem. <laughs> um, all right, rock and roll over here. You can also decide how you want to use this. You can have a high cut. You can choose how you want to engage. Um, your your channel that specific sweep so you have four um, four parametrics one 
um, low cut rock and roll then you have your compression fantastic on the desk it actually has a few presets that you can just quickly get in there if you if you are in a rush and you can manipulate it from there something that's quite amazing is this envelope shaper oh it's fantastic um, you can actually have quite a lot of control on how um, the attack the release the hold you know you can see how long it needs to hold it the fantastic little thing then you have this frequency sweeper um, which is I see it as a like an envelope sidechain filter but I mean uh, yeah that that is that is a very interesting thing for bass and drums and all that jazz um, so connect the channel so if you have let's say for instance you have your your kick on f on eight or whatever and you want um, uh, the keys to dip or whatever is in that frequency the other bass or whatever to dip down or in that time that's there we go sidechain bloom bloom um, fantastic so then we have um, left right of course solo mute boom now coming back to the FX this uh, this is something that I always struggle with when I haven't used it in a while um, so up top you'll have your effects channel so you can choose I usually tap out the rhythm if I want to use the delay so number one all you do is you click on the effects and you send it to the channel that you want and you can mute that effects channel as you can see over here your main fight fader is now effects one effects two effects three over here you'll have the double the different effects you can choose your effects channels it gets it has quite a nice um, variety here you have your classic LA2A compression units that they can load if you want to have that style of compression which is fantastic um, you can just whack that on the effects um, rock and roll then um, of course you can mute the different groups as well so if you mute it you can mute the the, the groups there okay cool um, let's quickly see what else do I need to talk about um, auxiliaries fantastic so one two three and four is your four auxiliary channels and you can then um, say how much of the vocalist or guitarist you want in specific monitors five and six is actually you can set that to be your earphones so you can actually have six um out i don't know how to do that i'm sorry i haven't gone that far because i haven't needed more than four monitors with a 16 channel setup you know because usually it's like a three-piece band the jams on this so four is usually enough you get your gates um for snare or whatever if you want to to have a nice little gate on something compression sends um, if you use matrix that will be something you want to know uh, and there we go metering that will give you all the jazz all the things you need click on main to go back to main so um, all right so another thing that's quite cool is um, when you want to change the name of this Vox and give it a color just click on there let's say it's acoustic make it yellow call them yellow, yellow and let's say this is the bass mm. and yeah that's a uh, of course a left click um, and so yeah you can you can have all that um, happening uh, yeah this is a v actually a very easy now uh, other thing that's quite cool sorry um, is you can save your uh, your scene so I can save it up I can have like in my documents folder I can have a um, X air folder and I can just go and save this as demo one sorry for the caps lock boom and then I can load it up load scene I can go demo one so let's quickly change some of these parameters boom 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 save save scene caps lock off demo 2 save it boom load load scene demo 1 boom back to where it was you can also save a channel preset so now let's say the vocalist is very happy with what's happening in this channel and you just say save channel and you say okay cool vox comp this is mine Bartman and now I can load so let's say I am all of a sudden I need to have a second mic that's running off um, channel 8 and 
I can go and say load load channel Bartman. Yeah, first you need to select the channel, am I right? Oh yeah, that's why. Sorry, also going through this with you. Here we go, you click on that there. So now load channel preset Bartman. Boom. Now that one is loaded. Um, rock and roll. So um, pasted res oh this is a cool one. You can resize um, to to your needs of the screen if you want to have uh, width of the window, all that jazz. Um, so yeah, this is the basic setup. Sorry if I'm not um, giving you any question, uh, any answers to, to intense questions, because I know there there is some stuff that's happening with the matrixes and how to connect it with that. Sorry, that's not <laughs> not my bag, baby. But yeah, the cool little desk, really cheap. You know what's amazing about this desk is the fact that I can literally just throw it into my car. I don't even have a bag for the thing. Um, my idea was to buy it as a backup desk, and it was so easy, so flexible. Because I have the this uh, this. Uh, UI 16, uh, Soundcraft UI 16, but the thing is a bit flimsy. You have to put it into a box or a bag or a thing. And I bought this as a backup to kind of do just when I have a three piece band and I need a bit more channels. Um, and, and the thing is so stunning that I just literally throw it into the back of my car and it's permanently there in case I have an issue with a desk or something because I use the Soundcraft uh, Yamaha. Um, Stage Pros 1K, which already have has like a little built-in desk, so I kind of throw this in in case I have like a visiting band member or something, and it just doesn't break. I've had it for two years now. Um, it's most probably done like 60 odd gigs, and it's fantastic. The only thing I will want to reiterate is get yourself a router that can connect with the Wi-Fi. This thing's router just totally disconnects the moment there's more than 20 people in the venue with their wi-fi's on their phones on um yes it also comes in a midas midas has a version of this which is fantastic it literally has exactly the same but chassis the same electronics everything inside it you actually uses exactly the same app as well it only has better preamps in it and it's like maybe 20 or 25 percent more expensive so if you have a bit more money go for the midas uh, version of this and yeah rock and roll guys um hope this helps it's worth it it's cheap it's good. Buy it.